Hey, I'm back, and now that that camper remodel is done, let's get back to some Jeep business. So I'm going to go around my Jeep uh, today and tell you everything that I've purchased for it that has been made in the USA in honor of 4th of July coming up. I try to buy as much as I can for my Jeep that's made in the USA. Can't always do it, but I've got quite a bit as I went through my list. Um, I do have a binder where I keep all of my receipts in chronological order from uh, mechanical receipts, oil changes, everything I buy, all of the manuals that come with them. I'm just, I like it that way. I like to keep everything so I can go back and reflect on how much I've spent on this Jeep, which has been quite a bit. Let me show you my binder. So here is my binder. There is my list of Made in the USA stuff. And I even have the original, um, I think it's called Mulroney or something like that. Uh, the, I got it from the original owner. And I like seeing, let's see, 33280 is what the price was new in 2015. And I, you know what? I think I could get that with it today, for it today. Um, so, all of these are receipts for everything. I'm surprised at how thick this thing has gotten, and it's only been a year and a half. Um, so, I will pull my Jeep out and start showing you everything on my list. Here's the list, and there's a little bit more on this page. And then we'll go over everything in this beauty that was made in the USA. All right, here we go with my list of USA made modifications to my Jeep. I just washed her, isn't she pretty? Yay. It was a perfect day for washing because it was cloudy and cool. Perfect um, atmosphere for washing your vehicle. All right, the very first thing I bought for my Jeep that is made in the USA is grab bar handles. I got the set of four for the back super heavy duty steel um, they were significantly more than the knockoff Chinese variety but I just prefer these I like original products original design if I can get it and I didn't think the price was bad for what they are I knew I would need it it was the first thing actually I bought them before I even found my Jeep because <laughs> I knew at uh, aging and knees I would need those to get in Okay, the second thing I bought for my Jeep made in the USA is the bar tack seat covers. They are awesome, love them still, holding up beautifully. I did pay extra for the red stitching on the front. The back ones that I bought, I bought used. A gal and I split them, the guy was selling a whole set. I only needed the back and she only needed the front because she had a two door. So we bought the set and we each took half. Um, so these do not have the red stitching, but still, they fit like a glove. They're just awesome. I can't say enough good things about everything Bartac. I also have the Bartac fire extinguisher holder, and I have the Bartac worn wench cover. Worn, at the time I was buying this, did not make a cover for the winch. This is the 10S EVO. Sadly, not made in the USA. The Xeon, I believe, is, but not the EVO. They outsourced it to China. Um, but it's still worn quality in all of their um, warranties and specs and everything. So I, I don't have any problem with it. But um, Bartak makes a cover for it. So that was great. And, oh, my Quadratech floor mats, believe it or not, are made in the USA. So I bought the set of, uh, the whole set, front and rear, and the um, cargo area. And it, it does say stamped on the US, made in the USA on the back of this. And I think I still have the box, so I'll see if it's got that label on it. I don't want to take it all out to show it to you, but trust me, they were made in the USA. I'm guessing maybe they outsource it to WeatherTech, who does, who makes everything here. Okay, and then back to the front. 
My under the sun insert, grill insert, is made in the USA. Great product, great company, super solid, excellent paint. So I'm very happy with that. My hot head headliners are made in the USA. I had them on my first Jeep. So I bought them for this one, the whole set, all the way to the back. And I also got the side window panels. I just think it looks more finished and looks nice that way. Uh, Factor 55 flat link for my winch is made in the USA. All Factor 55 products. And I will link all of these products in the description box. JKS disconnects. There's those. And I bought their lanyard to hold the sway bar up when I'm out on the trail. And uh, Metal Fabworks no, Full Metal Fabworks bumpers. You can see the logo there. I love, love, love these bumpers. They come raw, so you will have to get them powder coated. I don't, maybe he does a different option now. But when I bought them, raw was the way they came, bare steel. So um, I looked at a lot. It was between Metal Cloak, this one, and Hard Rock, which were all made in the USA. I just liked the style of this one. I wanted a mid-width. I didn't want a stubby, and I didn't want a full width. And I liked the bull bar. I don't want a stinger, so it was just, everything about it was just what I wanted. And I liked the one-piece design. And um, so I, I bought the front and the rear set. And so here you can see the Full Metal Fabworks logo. And what I like about it is it's not, it's just subtle. The logo is subtle. It's not in your face. It's not stamped all over the place. So very happy with that. And let's see, my metal cloak lift and skid plates. You can see my golden diaper under there. <laughs> and I did get a two and a half inch uh, Rock Sport Shocks uh, metal cloak lift. Um, not the game changer, the other one. <laughs> and I did also get metal cloak diff covers. I want more metal cloak. <laughs> and my Mickey Thompson wheels and tires are made in the USA. Very happy with the performance of these guys. Um, it says right there. Made in the USA. They've been great on the trail, through mud, through rocks. Um, very happy with the performance of those. JW Speaker headlights and taillights. Those are also made in the USA. Northridge 4x4 was having a great sale on the 12 days of Christmas. It was basically like getting the taillights for free. So I did go ahead and do that. And here are the taillights. A uh, high lift jack made in the USA, as well as this Dominion off-road um, roll bar bracket, which I'm very happy with. It keeps the jack out of dirt and grime, keeps it from getting stolen, and I can't even see it when I'm up front. You don't even know it's there. And the trail gator outback table. Uh, I love this, super good quality. Uh, it's got the little clips that make it easy to take down. And um, I opted for the bamboo, it was a little more expensive. I wasn't going to at first, but then I decided I want to. Let me show you the hammer tone finish. There's the hammer tone finish. You might not be able to see too much of it because I put all my stickers there. but. Um, I really am very happy with this table. And then the, of course I have a video, and there's the cutting board. And uh, also, last but not least, or almost last but not least, let me go get my spiderweb shade. Okay, here is the spiderweb shade. I had it on for the Go Topless Day. Um, they said 
it would you could put your freedom tops back on with it in place i had a hard time getting it to fit with the bungee cords so i took some of the bungee cords off and left it there but then it sagged in the center so i just took it out <laughs> i don't like to go topless that often so um anyways but it's very good quality made in the usa Bubba ropes are made in the USA, so I bought these for recovery gear, and Crosby shackles are made in the USA. These suckers are super heavy, and believe it or not, these Daystar isolators are also made in the USA, which surprised me. So I bought those. I don't keep these on my Jeep, because honestly, I don't want it scratching my beautiful powder coat. <laughs> so they're in my recovery bag when I go off trail. I mean, on trail. <laughs> uh, and I believe... That is it. Um, I have ARB uh, re ropes, I mean, toe straps and tree straps. I don't think those are made in the USA, but that's what I have for those. So that is my made in the USA items that I have for my Jeep. I always try to do it if I can. And uh, so that's it for Misadventures Jeeping with Julia. Bye-bye. Also, my decals are made in the USA. Rebel Decal made this for me. And of course, and Rebel Decal made that for me. Our Jeep Clubs made the Jeep Club ones. That one was made from a gal on Etsy. If I can find her store, I will link it. And I also just noticed... Where is it? vehicle made in USA. Hmm. I'll be darned. All right. There you go. Now I'm done.